the disturbing pictures of kibbutz israel's kibbutz is being circulated all over the social media and media the house the horror house where 13 year old british girl who disappeared has been slaughtered while her sister still missing all these show the brutality of extremist hamas butchers and their barbaric attack Chilling pictures of the kibbutz farming community near Gaza where they lived lay bare the brutality of Hamas butchers. It has been confirmed Yahil died alongside her mom, Liani, while her sister Noya, 16-year-old, their Israeli dad, 51-year-old Eli, remained missing whilst their uncle, Yozi, 53-year-old, was kidnapped and taken to Gaza. The family fear Noya and her father Eli have been taken into Gaza as hostages where the Hamas terrorists are using people they have captured as human shields to fend off Israeli forces. The teenagers hadn't been heard from since. Black-clad gunmen wielding assault rifles and hand grenades went door-to-door -door at their small kibbutz looking for Israeli families to slaughter or kidnap in their savage attack. Yahel and Noia's heartbroken uncles on Monday told media that they weren't eating or sleeping since they reported the girls were missing and were determined to do everything they could to bring them back to safety. But yesterday, Rahil's grief-stricken family, still reeling from the murder of her mother, Liam, confirmed the 13-year-old had been brutally killed by the terrorist. The family recently built two-story cul-de-sac property. It appears to be untouched outside, but the kitchen and dining area is littered with bloody debris and bullet casings. Their beloved dog, Mocha, a big friendly crossbreed, can be seen lying dead under a white sheet close to the sofa. Bristol-born Leanne's heartbroken British family had described her as a beloved daughter, sister, mother, and a friend who enriched the lives of all those lucky enough to have known and loved her on Monday. Prime Minister Rishi Suna confirmed yesterday that six Britons were killed in the attacks last week, while another 10 are missing. Last week, chilling video emerged of the moment Hamas terrorists ran towards homes in the Biari kibbutz and unleashed a hail of bullets on the terrified families living there. The gunmen can be heard shouting orders at each other in the video as they run from house to house, the sickening sound of gunshots filling the morning air. Four gunmen can be seen approaching one family home before shooting into the windows. One of the terrorists can be seen kicking down the door as a round of five gunshots can be heard in the background in quick succession. The video cuts out before the terrorists manage to break down the door. But it was at this kibbutz they ruthlessly shot dead, screaming families as they begged for their lives. Israeli soldiers would later find the bodies of 108 Israeli civilians lying riddled with bullet holes in their homes. Israeli Major General Itai Veruf told how the Hamas terrorist had thrown a hand grenade towards 15 girls and teenagers who were desperately, desperately trying to hide from them. All were found dead in that single room. The Hamas gunmen also set fire to several homes here in a sick attempt to force the families out so that they could gun them down as soon as they reached their gardens. No one supports terror, only dead have seen the end of war. War does not determine who is right, but only who is left or alive. Thank you.